Today's video is about what to do when a friend or loved one is arrested in the District of Columbia and taken to a central cell block. We get a lot of calls from family members of individuals who get arrested and they're told by the DC MPD that their friend or loved one has been taken to central cell block. Now for friends and family members uh, of someone who's been arrested, that can cause a lot of intense anxiety, fear, and stress. Now, uh, first and foremost, it's important to understand that when someone in D.C. gets arrested, the police are not likely going to give accurate information as to where they're taking the person, when the person is going to see a judge, or when they may have the first opportunity to be released. Now, uh, you can actually call Central Cell Block and find out if your loved one is there, and I'll tell you where it is. It's located next to um, the D.C. Superior Court at the Metropolitan uh, Police Department headquarters. The contact information uh, for Central Cell Block is uh, 202-727-4222. That's 202-727-4222. Um, I'm also going to include that information below. Now, unfortunately, while you can call and find out if your loved one is there, um, the police are not going to permit a friend or family member um, to visit their uh, person who's been arrested at Central Cell Block. Now, however, if you hire a criminal defense attorney, the police will actually permit the attorney to visit the arrested person, uh, go over what to expect with them and visit them and tell them, you know, kind of what's going on. At Scrofano Law PC, we have visited uh, numerous family members. We do this um, at any time, at nights, weekends, Saturdays, Sundays. Um, We've seen that this is one of the worst experiences in the DC criminal justice system because there's so much uncertainty about when the loved one is going to get released. Now, um, getting arrested on a Saturday for a crime that's not eligible for release is is even worse because they won't see a judge until Monday. Now, uh, most folks who don't have much of a criminal record are going to be eligible to get released from the police station with a citation to return to court. Under that scenario, um, the person arrested will, will just be held for a few hours at the station. They'll be booked fingerprinted, processed, and ultimately released um, with a citation to appear in court, and they won't spend a night in jail. And this is usually for first offense DUIs um, and a number of other misdemeanors like solicitation cases, simple assault, um, hit and run, using a fake ID, um, unlawful entry, stuff, uh, minor misdemeanors uh, like that. Now, on the other hand, If someone is arrested for a felony charge, there are no felonies that are eligible for citation release at the station. So if someone's arrested for a felony, they are definitely going to spend the night at Central Cell Block and not see a judge to be released potentially till the next day and maybe held longer. Now, unless you get arrested at like 6 or 7 in the morning, you're going to end up spending at least one night in jail if you're arrested for a felony. And like I said before, if you're arrested on a Saturday, that's the worst time to get arrested because you won't see a judge until Monday afternoon. Now, all misdemeanor arrests are eligible for citation release. There's about four scenarios where someone can be arrested for a misdemeanor and that will lead to them getting booked at central cell block and sent through lockup. Another scenario where this happens is when a judge issues an arrest warrant. And if a judge issues an arrest warrant in a case, then the person has to go in front of the judge for the judge to make a bond determination. We've done another video about what to do if you have uh, an arrest warrant. Now, another scenario is if you're arrested for a domestic violence offense. Now, this is a situation where the the complaining witness has an intra-family relationship with the person arrested, a wife, a cousin, a roommate, et cetera. Um, And they'll have to go through lockup if they're arrested for a domestic violence offense. Um, In addition, Um, If you're arrested for a gun misdemeanor, that's the final scenario where the charge can dictate that you don't get released at the station and you have to go through central cell block. These charges usually include things like unregistered firearm, unregistered ammo. That's usually going to require an appearance before a judge and prevent release at the police station. Uh, Also, if someone is on probation, parole, supervised release, or has another pending criminal case in D.C., they must also go through lockup. That means a night at central cell block at a minimum. Now, if a friend or family member or loved one is arrested 
in DC for a criminal charge and you're told that they're at Central Cell Block, I suggest you contact us right away. We can tell you exactly what to expect. We can find your loved one, um, visit them, give them the information, and let you all know when the person uh, is likely to be released. Mm -hmm.